hi guys and welcome to another Sky mod review and in this video we're going to be looking at the mod Windhelm Industrialized. Now what this mod does is aims to make the city of Windhelm look and feel like a primitive industrial city and it definitely does do this. It does this by adding simple aesthetic changes um, and these changes can be viewed from inside the city and outside the city. However there are a couple of LOD issues with um, viewing from outside the city at the moment but those are looking to be fixed in a later update. One of the new functionalities allows you to earn an income from the new factories and there is also a player office in the new tower built into the Palace of Kings. Um, upcoming planned features are to add more floors to the new office tower, dialogue for new company staff and factory workers, script to change the banners to either Stormcloak or Imperial colours and also the industrialization of other cities which I think would be an absolutely awesome thing to have done in Skyrim. Okay, so we're at the start of the entranceway to Windhelm, just coming straight through the door, and this is what you're met with as you come through. As you can see, it is a little daunting at first, there's a lot of changes here, um, and it looks pretty impressive, especially that massive tower down there in the center. Um, it's blurred at the moment because I do have DynaVision set to static, so distant objects are blurred um, but as you can see there is a monolithic type structures everywhere steam coming off everywhere very regular like industrial revolutionary type stuff and uh, a heavy glimmer setting as well with the uh, gold pipes and everything coming out of the buildings it looks absolutely awesome um, it gives an awesome feel that this is how these houses are heated as well with all these steam pipe works and stuff running through the place it looks pretty damn impressive so I'm going to go off down this way, which is the normal route I usually take when I enter Windhelm. And um, I usually go over this way first to uh, visit the blacksmith, you know, do a bit of crafting, trade a few things in. Um, that was annoying, I didn't really want that to come up. Can't just way. throw the big logs on the fire, gotta have the little bits too. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so you can see lots of changes here as well. Very scenic city now, very cluttered and very scenic. And I love this house, look at that house, it looks so cool. Looks a lot different to what I did before. Um, and it's just like these little changes as well with the lights on top of houses as well. Just like Lemma sort of lights, it's really cool. Um, I can't believe how much work it's like into I've this. been a bit out of sorts since. Up there as well for firing since arrows I onto people as well. Friends. Just lots and lots of stuff. It's very extensive this one. Um, I've walked around for a lot of. Like, at least half Mighty an hour. Arcade. And I'm God still finding new things that I didn't Here know the the first It's ridiculous. There's loads of stuff. Bless these departed souls and welcome um, them It is into hitting the my frame rate quite a lot. Um, I'm currently recording at 30 frames per second. It's not hitting that. Um, and I do have an EMB on, as you can probably tell. Um, so, yeah, just be warned, it is, it is obviously, as you can probably tell, um, going to hit your frame rate a little bit. Um, but, yeah, look at this. The friggin' main house area it looks friggin' awesome. Look at that house. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? I mean, there's just so much added here, it's unbelievable. Um, it's definitely worth checking this mod out. We're just going to take a little look down the Grey Quarter and the Palace. So this is the entrance way to the Palace now, as you can see, hell of a lot of changes here again. A massive addition of flags across the top there, it looks pretty cool. And it, look, it looks like a proper capital city this now. Look at these massive cogs coming out of the walls look very very cool and the whole palace has been reworked look at that massive spire going up there okay she's just entering the grey quarter now um, as you can see quite a few changes again I mean you're gonna notice changes everywhere this there's no area that's been left untouched it's just absolutely extravagant this mod and even in the grey quarter they've got these lights outside of the houses the Dwemer sort of lights it just looks absolutely Be fantastic. It's a massive the change to Windhelm. And I mean, corner. it just... I don't know, it just feels right, sort of. I mean, it would be nice to see this all across Skyrim, maybe, as like a, you know, Skyrim hitting the industrial age, and uh, maybe an update to the year in which Skyrim is set. I think it would be quite cool. And one of my favourite changes is actually down the harbour. So okay, so this is the new look harbour dock area. Nice, cool looking pump there. I do like that, it's pretty awesome. And then we have this. 
a nice, awesome pulley type thing that you can imagine loads and unloads the ships full of cargo coming in from Solsteam, coming away from Solitude maybe. It just looks absolutely awesome. Um, and I do love this part of the mod. This is actually my favourite part of the mod. What business Even do college mages so have in a place like Sartal anyway? Across the board, it's this a place is for my favourite bit of the entire mod. I know it sounds stupid and probably doesn't give the mod author enough credit, but I just love it. I think this is just fits with the area that it's in. I think it looks really cool. And uh, I do like this mod. It's, uh, it's worth just putting on and having a look around, because there's so many little things to explore and discover. And uh, it really is just worth checking out. No lolly gang. So that's Windhelm Industrialized. If you'd like to look at the mod, head over to the mod author's page and check it out there. And if you do use the mod, please do endorse. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.